python iterations using for so here we have defined one list we know that list elements are to be separated by commas and they are to be enclosed within these third brackets so this is a list here so printing all elements present in a set and here this particular set is nothing but a list so for i in a print i that means in each and every iteration in each and every loop in this particular for using this for we are picking up one element from the list at a time and the respective element is going to get printed so here is the outcome for this code so in the first iteration it is picking up one then two then three and then at last it is picking up five so that means all these list members are to be picked up are to be um, are to be read from the list in the order in which they are appearing in the list so that is our for loop so for i in so this is a syntax syntax means the grammar to write this for so for i in a then colon so colon will indicate that next statements will be under this body so you can find that if i write here print say hello then that is also coming within this for so we can find that it is printing like this so i want to print this one and hello side by side so we can go for this int is equal to null you can write this one and then you can print this hello so what will happen this one and hello will get printed in the same line so you can in this way you can write so many different statements with this indentation to indicate that all the statements are within the for block let us go for the next one here we will be using for but using this range we know that here we are given the range that is 6 comma 11 that means the value of i will be ranging from 6 to 10 so let me go for the execution you see the i is being initialized with 6 to 10 for each and every time iteration after that you also you can put some step value so here the step value is 2 that means the increment value is 2 here so now it will go on picking up 6 8 and 10 because 11 is not inclusive and that's why it will print the values from 6 to 10 and with this increment factor of 2 in this way you can write this for and using this range function in our for loop so let us go for another another way so how to write this one so you can find that uh, using for loop for printing the values present in the tuple and using the else command in the for loop so how to do that one you can print see so this is the outcome we are having so b is equal to 11 12 13 14 and 15 so they are coming here and this is nothing but a tuple for i in b so it will be pick, picking up the values from this tuple one value at a time in each and every iteration and when this particular tuple will get exhausted then else block will get the control and then printing completed that message is good, going to get printed so that is another way to write the for loop in our python coding so in this demonstration we have shown you that how to write for in our python code to have some block to get executed repeatedly for multiple number of times thanks for watching this video